Gosh, I've been like partying too hard. Not getting enough sleep lately. So, well, this is no filter, no makeup. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Zay and today we're gonna do FAQs part two for my BMW E46. Now, last time I did this was last summer and ever since then my car has changed quite a bit as you can tell. These questions usually come in from Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and I figured I'd just make a video to summarize what you guys have been asking for. Without further ado, let's kick things off with top eight questions that I get asked most frequently. Question number one, my wheels. Mostly a lot of people on the social media platform always ask me about my wheel setup, what are they, and where can they can buy it from. I get this question quite a bit uh, in real life as well. They are the authentic OG Vogue TE37s in the bronze colorway. They were purchased from a local fanatic here in Toronto, but you could basically get them from any authorized Vogue dealers in your area. Now, if you are a local here in Toronto and is interested in the set, I know a friend that has ordered from a place called JSpec before, but the wait times can vary from a couple months to a year. Since these wheels are for Japan, and of course, as we all know, the, the vid has of course delayed a lot of manufacturers, shipping times, and of course, delayed working schedules as well. So be mindful of that. Now, I have done a video on my thoughts about the Vogue TE37s a while back, so make sure to go check that video out. Question number two, what spoiler is that and where can I buy one? Or, or what wing is that and how large is your wing? Now, the spoiler or the wing is an authentic Voltex wing type 4 in full carbon. This was purchased off another fanatic here who was a track junkie. He decided to part ways with his car and was kind enough to part his wing off to me. I personally love this wing and even though I get a lot of hate on the internet, at the end of the day, it's my car and personally, this is the look that I am personally gearing or leaning towards in the future. I know there has been a lot of debate on the internet and my social media platforms whether or not this fits the E46 sedan chassis. And honestly, it, you're entitled to your own opinion and I love you for that. And I am personally just going to keep doing me and it is something that I personally want and enjoy. Now, some of you have been asking for a link or asking me where I purchased this wing from. Again, this is a wing that you could definitely grab off of the secondary markets such as Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Kijiji, Oko, uh, Facebook group. If you were to order this wing new, it would have to be directly from Japan. This is from Voltex Japan and is made to order from my knowledge. And once again, the wait times can vary from, from a couple months to up to a year. Once again, definitely if you were to look for a wing or if you're interested in purchasing a wing, I would look at the secondary market first. Now, in terms of how wide or how large the spoiler is, I made a video a while back on how big it is and how it fits. So please go check that video out. Number three, what strut brace is that? And where'd you get it from? The strut brace that I have is the OEM BMW Performance Carbon Fiber Strut Brace. This was purchased a while back on the E46 forum. I believe a member there was parting out his car and this was one of the first things that I had to grab. At one point, I did have two of these and I regret selling it at that price board that I did since these have skyrocketed in value. A good alternative to this is the Carbonus uh, Carbon Fiber Strut Brace. I know a company called Carbonus. I think they are located in Europe. Don't quote me on that. They have successfully replicated the structure of this carbon fiber strut brace. And people have said that this is a stronger and good alternative. So if you were to look for a similar alternative, that will be the strut brace that I personally would recommend to you. Number four, the front bumper and the lip. Now I always get asked what, what lip is that? What front lip is that on your car? Where can I get this lip? What is that bumper combo? And where to get the bumper? Now I figured I'd take this time to answer this question once again. So the front lip I have is the Arcway 
front lip i might be butchering that company's name but they are a company over in japan now this is a red lip it is in the carbon fiber finish it has been painted titanium silver with exposed carbon in the front to give it that additional aggressive look that i am looking for the bumper that the lip is compatible with is the oem m tech 2 front bumper this bumper is from factory and was offered as an OEM option back then. You could buy the bumper pretty much anywhere in the forums, eBay, and once again, Facebook groups. The lip, however, is a little bit tricky. This lip used to be offered at the Koholti online vendor, but they have since gone under. But nowadays, if you're lucky enough, you can find it over on eBay. Number five, the tune. What tune is this? Does stage two uh, give any source of improvement at all? Question that I'm able to answer currently has no metrics to it. And what that means is I haven't taken the car to the dyno to be honest. This is a stage two tune from Rev Match Motorsports. They are a tuning company over in the States that does tuning for the E46 platform. I reached out to them via Instagram and they hooked me up with a great price. I do, however, notice an improvement overall. I once again did a video about it uh, a while back so please check out that video if you haven't already done so. But overall, I am pretty happy about this mod despite some backlash I received on the internet such as, hey, you know what, this tune rises out your car or this tune it ruins the aesthetic of the car or ruin the purest uh, aspect of the car. And personally speaking, I personally got the tune due to the fact that I have headers and I do need this tune to A, tell the car that I have headers, B, tell the car that I have a cold air intake, and C, tell the car that I have an exhaust. Having this new tune tell my car that I have all these additional mods allows my car to fully take advantage of all these additional add-ons. But with that being said, I know the pops and burbles are a little bit subjective. That is why you could turn it off with, uh, with a touch of a button. I personally programmed it to turn off with the cruise control button instead of the AC button. So when I come across any quote unquote police officers, I just kind of just turn it off so that it doesn't make any additional noise. Number six, one question that I do get asked still is one of the most eye-catching features of my BMW E46, which is of course the angel eyes. Um, I get a lot of people DMing me uh, from time to time saying, how do I keep the angel eyes lights on while having the daytime running lights off and what angel eyes would you recommend? Personally, A, to turn off the daytime running lights, you have to take it to a shop and you have to get it programmed. I personally don't have the tutorial to do that or tutorial to teach you how to do that. I took it to a local shop here in Toronto and they hooked it up to their computer and turned it off for, for me at a small cost. But what I can speak to is the angel eyes. These angel eyes are one of the best angel eyes that I have ever used and purchased. They are the Yuminitsia, I might be pronouncing that company wrong, but Yuminitsia Orion V2 Opaque LED angel eyes. These are hands down the best and brightest angel eyes in the E46 market. And if I was to purchase another set, if mine breaks, I definitely will take my money to that company over there again, since these angel eyes are, in my opinion, one of the best. They shine very bright in, in the daytime and at nighttime, they are very mesmerizing. So definitely go check them out if you are in the market for angel eyes. Number seven. Now I still get a lot of comments on my brake setup, but honestly it hasn't changed. Some people wanna know where I got the calipers from, how to install these brakes and of course, what kind of parts you need for you to upgrade to my brake setup. I am still using the OEM BMW Performance Big Brake Kit front and rear. I purchased the front BBK from a member on the E46 forum. He was parting it out and I was very fortunate enough to buy the two calipers from him at a, in my opinion, a steal back then. And the rear, I got it from a good friend of mine over at the ZHP or ZHP Mafia forum. He graciously held it for me and made sure that I see this project through. Of course, alternatively, you can buy this kit, the front and the rear over at ECS Tuning. I know they offer this kit new and it's, in my opinion, a little expensive right now, but if you do have the funds, you could definitely go check it out. 
also did a video about this a while back. I'm just going to, of course, pop up the thumbnail somewhere around the screen, and then you could definitely take a look at it. Question number eight, last but not least, I, I still get some general questions here and there about maintenance, about the upkeep of the car, uh, questions on why I still have the car, if I'm willing to sell it, and what is it comparable to. Of course, this is a very fully loaded question that I don't think I'm gonna tackle within this video. But uh, first off, I haven't driven too many cars in my lifetime, to be honest. I'm a little bit nervous when it comes to driving other people's like, you know, quote unquote babies or beloved cars. But uh, I can compare it to a car that my cousin does own he owns a track ready Subaru STI. When I drove his car, I felt that some similarities we have is how great the torque was. The throttle uh, was very responsive and it felt very, very well planted to the ground when it was on the track, when I cornered with it. So definitely that's something that I could throw out there as a comparison. But over in the E46 forums, people, people have been comparing the E46 to the Infiniti G35 and G37. So if you're in the market for looking at another alternative besides the E46, you could definitely go your way in that direction. I honestly haven't been Thinking about selling the car that much, I personally love the car and I still want to see this quote unquote project through. I still have some plans for it that I'm not going to share just yet, but I honestly have a never dying love for, for JDM cars. And growing up as a kid, I, I used to play a lot of Initial D uh, in the arcades. I think my dream JDM car or cars would be the Mazda F33S, of course the Supra MK4, and even the AP2 S2000. Those are some of the cars that I watched or enjoyed using in video games growing up and definitely would love to bring that nostalgia back into my life. With that being said, if I was to part ways with the E46 one day, these would be the top three JDM cars on my list. There you have it guys, this is part two of my FAQ. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any additional questions for me that I haven't covered in this video. But once again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me in the long run. And if you haven't already done so, please follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok for more additional E46 content. Until then, see you next time.